lady. I like having fun. I like to laugh. I like to meet people who can make me laugh. I like having fun. Yes, I like to laugh. I like having fun to meet people who can make me laugh. Good, 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 Hold out. Should I be doing this every week? My David Lynch impression. Hold air. Right, right. And clear skies. Clear skies. Sometimes I have it. Sometimes I don't. We got DJ Doug Pound behind me to my right, to your left. In a mud puddle with my friend Little Dick. Good horny. And Mr. Victor Berger with the Woody Allen cap. What's up, everybody? Da, 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 da. He's loving it. Ooh, I am. What are they serving at McDonald's in terms of beverages? Uh, this is unsweetened iced tea. Da, 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 da. Not, not bad, right? I found what an interesting. Uh, I forgot I had it on. <laughs> I was enjoying Carlin it so much. is back, adjusted to the time zone. Hello. Feeling good? Feeling great. Um, I wasn't going to bring this up. Uh oh. Uh oh. But last night, I'll tell you something, folks. I like to create a little drama, a little mystery, and then I'll introduce you. That's right, folks. We have guests in studio. They are off camera, and they do not want to be here. <laughs> now, I do want to get to my guests, but I do want to share. I don't want to lose my train of thought on this, because otherwise I'm going to forget. But this is... So serious because oh, I had the reverb on the whole time. Now I have it on again. <laughs> Mamma mia! Okay. Have news for you. <laughs> I have news. Imagine this disappointment you're gonna get. It's coming. The disappointment is this. Quiet. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> the disappointment is this. I was making dinner last night, a meatloaf, a turkey meatloaf, from a recipe I found online. Tool is good. I hadn't made meatloaf in a while, so I was following the recipe, and it called for a sauce, a glaze, folks. A glaze on top of the meatloaf that you apply about 20 minutes before mm -hmm. completion. So you get a nice, nice carameliz the caramelization, the crisp on the top. <laughs> See, there's the deal. So I'm making this sauce that this is recommended. Normally, when I was a kid, we just did ketchup on top, right, Vic? Yeah, a little ketchup, that's it. A little ketchup, a little Worcestershire yeah, sauce. Yeah, a little cheese. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. So. I make the sauce that this recipe uh, commands me to make, <laughs> advises me to make, and now we got ourselves not just ketchup, but about a tablespoon of mustard and a tablespoon of honey. Right? Squirt that up, mix that down, apply to the top of that meat loaf. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm eating this shit. I go, hang on. This is McDonald's sweet and sour sauce. <laughs> I cracked the code. You want that McDonald's sweet and sour sauce? Gone. I'm taking back half cup ketchup Heinz. Ain't doing no fucking cunts. My uh, hunts. <laughs> Fuck hunts. <laughs> Under half cup. Uh, ketchup, oh, tablespoon of mustard, yellow mustard, French's mustard, oh. we, we. and then a tablespoon of honey. Holy mackerel, as my dad would say. <laughs> <laughs> that's just, that's what sweet and sour sauce is. Of course it is, right? Sweet and sour, yeah. Of course, they're probably not using honey. They're probably using no. some kind of 
know, Hot they're not taking shoes. that and mixing Home it together. Sip. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that was unbelievable. Wow. And it was and people liked it? Like everyone was like everybody was yeah, thrilled. Their was... kids ate it. <laughs> wow, that's that's important. Kids liked it. Everybody liked it. Congrats, Tim. <sighs> well, I do like bacon. <laughs> What a start! A week. Uh, I'm telling you, two minutes before the show, I go. I don't. I don't have nothing. I don't got so nothing to talk about. Bring up the meatloaf again. <laughs> <in> the <milk. laughs> Tune is but good. let me now introduce our guests. Thank you for your patience, and this is exciting to have King Tough is here. <laughs> Great, legendary musician. He's joined by Ruth Garbus. Right, Ruth Garbus is here. Wow. <laughs> Hello. Kyle, I call you Kyle. I'm not calling sure, you Sure, yeah. You don't appreciate it. Kyle's here. Kyle's going to play a song for us with Ruth later. He's going to be joining. And I'm going to sit in. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a little Richard Manuel style piano oh, playing, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah. Well, it is a pleasure to have you. We have, This is not the first time we met, of course. No, we were in the bass circle together. The bass circle. Yeah. This is going back. How many years now? 2018, maybe? I'm not sure when that's from. Nin so why 19, not try the 19, same thing? 19, 2019. 1988. Uh, yes. We do, do we have a little clip of that, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> now, look, just, look how star-studded. You got Jim James, My Morning Jacket. I'm going to call him out as we see him. And we got uh, <laughs> Mac DeMarco. Oh, yeah. We got King Tough. We got Tim Heidecker. We got Jason Schwartzman up there. Jason Schwartzman. And who else do we have? Is that it? And there's Beck. Wow. Grooving. Beck and Jenny Lewis. Why didn't Beck, Beck grab the bass? Beck? No, we, he's, he's, great the the, he's great in the cutaways here, though. This was a um, something like a three, four hour live telethon we did. There he is. That's a good that's, that's, that's great. That should be a reaction. Yeah. That should be a gift okay, or something, yeah. right? An animated gift. There's more uh, of them. KT, there. do you remember? <laughs> KT, do you remember what you were playing? KT. Or what you were, what that's you were, actually uh, Jason KT. Schwartzman's uh, eight-string bass. Oh, my God. And yeah. forever a Beatle really? maniac, Jason Schwartzman, uh, oh, yeah. with the with the Hoffner. Uh, paying respect to Paul McCann. And then you, someone pointed this out <laughs> in the chat stop. on this. I go, I am so comedically evolved that I know when the bit's done. You know, I know when we're, well, I know when we got it. But some people keep playing. They don't follow my lead. <laughs> oh, they, I think that kind of makes it more funny. Though. Yes. Oh, why not? Hey, keep playing. Right. Back. You know what? And matter of fact, then Beck is feeling okay. He I likes get it. it. <laughs> we're done. This has gone on long enough. This was a, an idea hatched by Eric de Um The whole thing is pretty <laughs> wild. You got Jeff Goldblum coming by. Oh my God. And, uh, remember that? It was in back of He work. called me king, and I actually liked it when he king. called me king. King. I was like, Jeff, you're the only right. person that can call me that. King Tough. <laughs> wow. You play? You play instruments? Oh. I'd like to hear your music. <laughs> Now Ruth said it's not a bass circle because we're not facing each other, and she yeah. said oh, in a true. in a drum circle you have to be facing each I other. Feel it's I an said, unspoken rule that you have right. to face each other in a Ruth. In a drum I wish circle. you were there to give us Man. that note. You know, <laughs> I wish nothing more. That would, that would be great to seeing the backs of you guys. That was a crazy weekend because uh, I was supervising that whole affair and hosting it, but it wasn't. Eric Nicktornicola was directing it, and Jenny. It was for Jenny Lewis's album at the time, On the Line. And uh, it was a fundraiser. It was, for, it was for a good cause. And uh, and uh, but I had to fly in that day from this other thing I was doing. It was one of these madcap days. Of, it was winter time, so it was like, am I going to get there on time? And then rolled in. I had no idea what was going on. And we just riffed it. It's Hollywood. That's how we do it. Um, what do we got? Flew in from Miami Beach to USC. They didn't get the bed last night. All the way the paperback was on my knees. I said, oh, I had a beautiful flight. I'm back in the USSR. Yes, I am. Back in the USSR, boy. Wow, I'm back in the USSR. Well, the East Coast girls really like me, yeah. They leave the West behind. And Moscow girls make me scream and shout. And JoJo's always on my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind. 
Paid off. <laughs> God, we got that SIR sta uh, stage yesterday and just ran it. <laughs> ran that shit into the ground. But it still felt loose. <laughs> it's got to keep it loose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> do we have to do any more show, or does that feel good? <laughs> just keep going. What other, what other songs do you know? Helter Skelter? <laughs> hey, how, yeah. about, how about that? Uh, we, got a, we got our first JoJo name check in a Beatles song. Oh. It's true. And then he comes back on JoJo in, uh, in uh, Get Back. It's all true. Right, JoJo. Right? What? He goes, all right, JoJo. We found no. a solo, isn't it? Like, in this oh, song, in back in the USSR, he sings about JoJo. Oh. Right? It's true. And also in the, in the movie, when he's like, when it shows him kind of writing yeah. uh, Get, Get back. back, at one point he says JoJo Pepper. Jo oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> It's like a weird combo. I like. Or the is Sergeant extend... Pepper is JoJo. Yeah, there's a, a there's an a, there's a Beatles extended universe that we could that we could do all kinds of stuff with. You got Billy Shears. Yeah. What's Billy Shears doing these days? Yeah. And then that... you also have this paperback on his lap, so it could be that paperback from Paperback Writer. Oh. I like this line in Paperback Writer. Think about this. He says <laughs> he's writing the, the story of the song is he's writing he's trying to sell a book. He's, he wants to be a paperback writer. But he says, it's based on a novel by a man named Lear. And you're like, let's see, your book is based on a, another book? Plagiarism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's you plagiarism. Just, did you just adapt another book? That's not how it works, Paul. Well, maybe that first based book was nonfiction. Good call. Aha. Oh. Aha. All right, let's take a Zoomer just to kick this show off in style. Sheena. <laughs> Sheena the punk rocker. Who's Get in now? here. This is Sheena. Sheena. Hey, up, Sheena's got a How's beard uh, beard covering. Sheena, Sheena be okay? a man. Sheena, Sheena, hey, guys. Sheena be a man. <laughs> so I know I knew. It's musical today. It's because King Tuck So I know I knew. We hear you. Cool. What's up, guys? How you doing? All right. We're What's good. going on with the um, beard? What are you working? A Jack in the Box? Yeah, we're at a brewery. It looks like Breaking Bad in here. Got I, I think I know guys. that guy. Yeah. Got some red floors, got some conicals. We're canning some kombucha. Excuse me, um, Sheena, do you know King Tough personally? Uh, actually, I'm, I a little bit. Um, he used to work at the pizza place. Which one? Well, first the, the one in, in like Am, uh, Amherst, or and then you. Oh and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in and then in New York, and then the one in New York there. You thanks, Cal. You remember me? It's good to see you on Rip, Bedford you? Avenue. There. What kind of show is this? Yeah. Just like, it's like <laughs> the caller didn't even know. Really I freaking really know everyone, man. <laughs> What's going on? Well, I, want, I wanted to say hi to you guys. I'm a I'm a big fan of uh, feathers. I wanted to chat with you all about feathers for a second. Oh, oh yeah. Well, wow, bringing it back. Go ahead. Yeah. What do you want to know about? It's a record that came out. Me and like Ruth it? had a band called Feathers. Oh, okay. Back uh, in like 2005, oh, 2006 okay. era. Yeah. Freak folk, you might call it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I recognize you too. That's crazy. Is this like a stalker of yours <laughs> that's been to every show? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was a super fan. This is some live stalking. <laughs> um, well, I wanted to. I wanted to see if Kyle and Ruth would help me out. I wanted to turn Tim and the uh, Office Hours community on to. To Brattleboro adjacent uh, artist mm. uh, Kurt Wiseman, who is in Feathers, and an LA artist, The Lentils, who are oh, amazing. Yeah. And they're in LA, and I wanted to to kind of see if uh, Ruth and Kyle had anything to, to add about Brattleboro music scene. And tell me what about Bat Brattleboro. Where are we in the? We're yeah. in Vermont, Southern Vermont, Southern the, tip the of very Vermont, uh, bother, bottom, uh, uh, it like east, a, southeast corner. It like a. Massachusetts and New Hampshire, right, right there. Right, it's about twelve thousand people. Okay, you actually, know. I have a tattoo here. All right, oh, look at that. Oh, he's got well, the whole. Helpful. He's got the oh, whole New gosh. England there. Wow, that's amazing. Never need to open a map again. Look at that. Kind of around there, right? The yeah, right there. in that bottom little right yeah. corner there. Uh, you know, just a Is lot it a of university old, town. No, no, just a lot of old hippies and. 
Like a Woodstock scene. There used yeah. to be there used to be a college, but it closed recently. A really strange, like rural college oh. called Marlboro. Marlboro. But that's no longer there. Really makes the Sponsored cigarettes. by the Sigs. Thank you, Doug. Yeah, that's where Thank you, Doug. Cigarette. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> the mascot yeah. was the Reds. The Marlboro Reds. <laughs> oh my god. There's a <laughs> been a uh, there's a there's a good music scene there. Sounds uh, like and it. And then yeah. the wise uh, her partner Chris Wiseman and his yeah. brother Kurt Wiseman. They're both yeah, you should check I, them, you'd here's, actually Here's some synchronicity. I think the, um, Rick Alverson, who was here last week, famous director and uh, friend, and it has a band. His brother-in-law has a big recording studio in outside of Brown. Guilford Sound. I, I recorded there, yeah. Yeah? My last Whoa. album, yeah. Guilford Sound. You're yeah. talking about. It's like on a big... It's beautiful. The Pixies just yeah. recorded there. Dave, yeah. Dave Snyder, yeah. How do I get in there? Dude, you, you, can get, you can get in there. Just go, just it's yeah. Nice. Yeah, but then what? I gotta leave, gotta gotta leave and yeah. But they have like a plate. You like there's beautiful accommodations. You uh, can like live there. It's really. You understand the duress and pressure I make my records in. It's always like squeezing it in and just. <laughs> but no, I need to go away for a year and make my oh, masterpiece. Wow. In Vermont, Br- you could be oh, wow. sitting atop a cow, singing. <laughs> okay. Mmm. <laughs> 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 Well, I'm glad I could reunite you people. Yeah, yeah. thanks. It's really nice to see you guys. I um, spent. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, uh, the the lentils. They live in L.A. Uh, this guy Luke Chesick, amazing, amazing artist. You should have him on the show. Check out. He's, he's like kind of like he's like Dylan. Yeah, he's great. He's great. He's like Dylan. <laughs> he's great. Yeah, yeah, they're great. You should have him on. The lentils. They'd, be, like they'd be funny too. Yeah. All right. Thanks for the well, recommendation. I'll get back to work. Good to see you, Cal and Ruth. Thank Love you so album. much for calling. Love you guys. Thank you. Really nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to see you. Pleasure. Good I was in, uh, a couple of years ago, I was in uh, Woodstock, Vermont. That's oh, a bit yeah. further up. Or? Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Yeah. But it's that's, a little, nice. that's a little bit like, uh, I, was, I, was, uh, I understand that it feels like this old town, but it's actually not. It's Is one it of not? these like uh, reconstituted by a rich guy. Gentry. Right, Matt? You know what I'm talking about? I don't about? know. I didn't hear that about okay. it. But I'll take it anyway. It was nice. And Barnard. 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 Uh, <clears throat> you want to do City of the Day, speaking of city? Sure. Why not, right? Yeah, we're in that geographical city state of, of mind. Oh. Geographical state of mind. Yeah. Yeah. Geographical state of mind. Well, the City of the Day this week is sponsored by, oh boy, the Tope. The tope! Do you love wearing flip-flops but hate exposing your disgusting toes to the general public? Do your freak show fungus toenails scare off potential romantic partners? Then get yourself a pair of topes. These toe-hiding modesty wigs will keep those crusty digits covered and looking chic. Plus, they clip right on to your, they clip right on for ease of use. Topes come in a variety of looks such as the mop top, the side part, the Morrissey, dreadlocks, and other fashionable styles. Heads will be dipping when you sport your new topes. The worst part about wearing these beautiful micro wigs will be having to say, excuse me, my eyes are up here. Each of these topes comes with our custom shampoo and conditioner plus mousse and a mini brush to keep those looking gorgeous. So start wearing sandals again and feel confident with topes. Available exclusively at select Walgreens. Not available in Alaska, Montana, Idaho, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, North Dakota, and Croatia. Wow. Excellent, Doug. You see the respect they gave? Wow. Yeah. That jingle? <laughs> total quiet, total silence. I worked on that this week. I worked on everything. Appreciate it, T. I worked on everything. <laughs> <laughs> Every day you're just like <laughs> meditating on We it. did drills. <laughs> My wife was up there going, all right, no, 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 you read. Well, as soon as you finish, you don't say anything. You don't have to say anything. Ads <laughs> over, commercial plays. I got it. it took a while. I was getting complaints last week. Oh, well, let's do the city of the day, uh, actual city of the day. Dan O'Toole, you're up. Ah, oh, Dan O'Toole. Sounds Irish. How's your Eric? daddy, Peter? <laughs> well, my actual dad's dead. Oh, my actual dad's oh. dead. Oh, excuse me. 
Sorry, I didn't do the Wikipedia on the guy. <laughs> you look like Harrison Ford. Nice hair. Yeah, it's true. Good hair. Fucking, this is the handsomest guy we've ever had on the show. Wilbur <laughs> Fox. What are you? Dead. Yeah, what are you, some kind of male model for JC Penney's? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have those in Canada. Oh. All right, sorry. Tim Shoppers. Hortons. Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons. Hortons Shoppers. Uh, JC Looney's, Tim. Uh, JC Looney's. <laughs> J.C. Looney's. <laughs> Look at this fucking guy. I'm getting uh, getting heart palpitations looking right into his eyes. I'm, just, I'm attracted to you. Thank wow. You. I want to feel this guy's muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a bath. What's the big deal, right? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Put you on the spot. Tim's are really good. I love it. What can I do for you? <laughs> I'm the city of the day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All that's right. right. That's right. <laughs> Woo, I'm swooning. <laughs> what about you, Ruth? You feeling si it? Oh, feeling no. the energy from He's him? He's a city? I I'll move to mm -hmm. him. <laughs> <laughs> plant myself in your town. I can be your little boyfriend. <laughs> I can do whatever you it's say. It's a small town. We hey need all the people we can get. What is it? Like my, He's my Orno, Johnny Cakes. Ontario, Canada. So it's Toronto without the T's. Orono, Ontario, Canada. Orono? What? Orono. Ontario, Orono. How do you like that? What do you do up there? Um, I do a podcast. Ooh. Okay. What's and actually, I had a request for from Vic. I Ooh, have to ask I do Vic. All right. <laughs> yeah, you're currently being uh, paid. Uh, you're a paid caller. Now, wait, let's pause. Because what do you mean you do a podcast? That's all you do? This must be a popular podcast. That's all podcast. I do, yeah. What's the so podcast? I used to work in TV, and now I do um, a podcast called Boomsies. And um, hmm. this is your life. That's this is I my do. life. Well, <laughs> that's all that's I want to do. Does. But I got to do other shit too. <laughs> Boomsies. What is Boomsies? Is it a? Uh, what's the subject of the podcast? What's the vibe? What are we doing? Uh, it's pretty much small town living. We talk, we just talk about whatever the hell's going on. I talked about Tom Green. I went to see Tom Green with some friends oh, performing nice. in Toronto on Friday. Detail that. It's stupid shit. Okay. But this is a living? This is a living, Get yeah. The hell wow. How do you like this? Wow. I just subscribed to your well, YouTube channel, just so you know. Here he okay. Is. Pretty cool. So, Why Vic, don't you promote our show? Question. Oh, yeah, yeah. On hey. every show, when I crack my uh, cherry Pepsi, I say, what sip, everybody? No, say, well, then this is theft. What? Oh, my God. This but I, I say used without permission, and I said, but I need to get permission from Vic, so can I get permission to use that and well, credit you every time? If I can be perfectly honest, I stole that from, like, a iced tea bottle. So <laughs> <laughs> This is was, all, like, paperback yeah. writer. Yeah. It was like, it was like, like that's what's sip or something. We're, getting, we're getting some uh, <laughs> nice connections right. here. So you can use that freely, but well, but all I you like got to do is you guys because I like uh, bringing people to your show because I love it. Oh, thank you well, very thank much. You. Um, all right, well, we got we had a little fun with you and recommend. <laughs> I can't. I don't know if I can recommend the podcast yet. It looks I nice. I mean, it. it looks almost better than ours, probably. Look at this thing. It's oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see what you're seeing, Kenneth. Look at, this. Look at that beautiful shot there. Oh yeah. See, so oh, he's going. You well, should have see. OJ on your show. <laughs> 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 Damn! <laughs> oh man, I was listening to Howard Stern the other day, and they were because OJ did a podcast. Oh my! We could God. almost do that thing that Joe Rogan did, where they were like, we were going to do this last week, Let's but watch another. Podcast. There's, there's, they, they watch were it. they were watching Elon Musk on another podcast <laughs> for like three minutes, and just it's just the shot is them watching another screen, <laughs> and Elon Musk is just saying nothing about ice ages. Oh, ice ages. Uh, I understand that. that. There's been several ice ages. It turns out I got COVID. But anyways, <laughs> God, the Stern guys, the uh, Fred and uh, Fred uh, Norris. I don't read. His, Only on Spotify. His collection <laughs> of uh, OJ drops is so oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> so as they're talking about OJ, who went on this podcast, um, they're just they're just playing those OJ clips are so funny. Ooh. I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a dope band. Yeah, well, oh, and this is good too. The, it's all good. Iris. <laughs> all right, we'll get OJ on. He looks like he's doing media. <laughs> I'm good. Thanks, we'll Dan. <laughs> Thanks, guys. The show is crazy. This is like a low key flex. <laughs> I like when you see these guys who are like on uh, doing the the rounds. You know, Louis C.K. was on oh. 90 podcasts last week. I think he's got some big show coming up. If you see him on that Theo Vaughn guy, he gave me a big. Shout out, which I didn't ask for. Who is that guy? 
and I then have a bone. you know who, huh? that guy, who is no he's some comic with a goddamn a, mullet is doesn't he, isn't he a wrestler or something no you're oh. thinking of somebody else then he's on joe rogan and everyone's having a good old time thinking laughing brandon what's his face brandon schaub oh schaub yeah schaub. anyway <laughs> oj's out there doing press <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'd book I him you. i don't have any problems <laughs> with OJ. <laughs> Vic oh, yeah. Berger makes a bunch of very fun. What would you ask OJ uh, if you uh, if you had him on the show about Naked Gun? Of course. <laughs> How was it working on Naked Gun? Frank Drebin. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, what was you Frank? Had that big Afro couldn't get through the door. Remember that? Mm-hmm. It's funny. Uh, so you got. You're wondering what the hell's going on. I'm just chilling. You're having right. a, you're doing all right? I was looking at his stress ball. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I was looking at I'm, that too. I'm, I'm, well, you know, we're into this stuff called crazy errands. You fuck with crazy errands? No, I want no. to, though. Crazy errands thinking putty. Oh, yes, oh. I have. I had, yes, it's, it's great. Yeah, this is really that. sticky. That yeah, one's a, this is a neato, right? I don't know what that is. My kids had it, so I don't know. You know, my Chris, my partner, he, he fidgets so much of these that he, he's popped. Oh, yeah. Like we're, oh in a, we're in a yeah. restaurant and he burst yeah. it all over the register. You got that at Dave and Buster's. <laughs> oh, that's what I need, yeah. I found yeah. one of these in the back of my neck a few weeks ago. <laughs> 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 I had it drained. <laughs> you ever have anything drained before? You ever? Don't say it. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, balls. I had... <laughs> I, when I was in college, or right after college, I was working at um, a restaurant. Imagine me working as a waiter. Yeah. And I uh, developed a bunch of warts all over my hands. Oh. Not kidding. Like all on, almost on every finger, these like painful warts. Mm. And uh, they were, do you ever have anything like frozen off? Oh, yeah. I don't think so. I have. Holy I have. shit. It's like a cigarette going right onto your mm. skin. Just, oh. wow. Nice. It's amazing. Nice. It's hot. <laughs> the pounding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll that was say. awful. But imagine I'm your waiter and I'm bringing your yeah. food and smells of warts all over my hand. <laughs> Sorry about Put that. Winter gloves or something. And then after, that. there's all these band aids and everything on there. <laughs> it was terrible. I think if there's young listeners out there, I think you're be prepared to go through like. Like body changes that are uncomfortable at certain parts of your life, you know, or every part, part every of part your of your life. <laughs> um, it's true. Let me look at my notes. So you're uh, you're heading the, hitting the road. And you got a new album coming. Oh, let's, yeah. let's plug. We, this is what oh, we do. Plug we plug. It. You got a new record coming on Friday. It's true. And uh, you're gonna play one of those songs for us dur- uh, in about well, in about twenty minutes. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm going to play with you. You're going to jam gonna with sing. us. We're going to get some melodica on the track. <laughs> and have you announced a tour yet? The tour is announced. It starts March 1st, I think, in San Diego. Where are you playing in San Diego? Uh, that's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you playing with? Is there? Uh, there's an awesome band coming on tour. The whole the tour is called uh, Tchotchke. Ooh, yeah. Wait, don't we know that? You know what a tchotchke is. I, love, I have so many tchotchkes <laughs> at home. I fucking love a tchotchke. I love tchotchkes. I've had so many drunken like eBay tchotchke purchases. <laughs> I bought <laughs> recently. I bought two um, glove like forms. That, like you, it's just like a hand. But it's a thing they would put in this sauce or whatever, and then it come out and be a rubber glove. Oh my God. And I have two of those now. Okay. So the uh, sauce. what <laughs> the rubber it's sauce? I'll send you mean? a picture. <laughs> They look cool. They look cool to me, I think. I'll show you a picture of it then. Uh, Lots going on in the world. I want to bring to everyone's attention. Yesterday, this group of scientists, I don't know what they're called. There's an alliance of scientists out there who have been, who have created a doomsday clock. Mm. I don't really understand it. They sort of look at the world and say how far away we are from (laughs) nuclear uh, apocalypse. Is that that? Is it always nuclear (laughs) or is it just the doom of... Uh, just apocalypse in general. I think that their stress, their focus is on uh, in nuclear, uh, what do you call it? It's yeah. The bulletin of the atomic scientists. Okay. So, yeah, it's not just like general, there's a meteor coming or, or climate change or anything. They're focused on the probability of an all-out uh, thermonuclear uh, world war. And, <laughs> But what are we supposed to do with that information? Well, that's the question. It, it's some kind of... <laughs> You know, I'm sure there's an argument for it. There's some kind of awareness, but they made this big. It does seem a little like it seems extremely <laughs> silly to me, you know. Uh, but maybe it's 
let's just reflect and remember that the that the the future of the planet is hanging by a thread. Um, but they made. Oh, we'll we'll see this. They made a big announcement uh, yesterday about the where the where we're at. Where where are we at? Well, they're going to show you today. The members of the Science and Security Board. Bye, bye. Pause for a second. Who's the guy in the blue Oxford? Like <laughs> <laughs> somebody's son? <laughs> All right. Move the hands of the doomsday clock forward, largely, though not exclusively, because of the mounting dangers in the war in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. We move the clock forward the closest it has ever been to midnight. It is now 90 seconds to midnight. It's 90 seconds from midnight. Better get yourself ready for a big old war. We're gonna say goodbye. Oh, Matt, don't play this. Oh. What? Next bit. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> wow. So that's exciting. They had the nice little ceremony for it, at least. <laughs> that curtain drop. Uh, all disclo full disclosure. It's almost weirder. Uh, the original version, we added that music, but uh, it's weirder. It's the dry version is almost sicker. Yeah. But it's Silence. <laughs> it is it's strange when they're just standing there silently. Just staring. That was it. I mean, I, I, that's Nothing the only else. bit of the clip I saw, but was that everyone gathered in this room and like got like orange juice and coffee at the back of the co conference room? And <laughs> Was that real? It's real, yeah. The clock itself is an interesting uh, design. Yeah, it came from like a game show or something, yeah. <laughs> like an old British game show. Tim, do you think they're hanging around that clock like when the bombs are coming? They're like, okay, I guess we're going to set it to midnight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by the time it hits midnight, it's too late. You want to see it without the music? Do we have it? Oh, Shit. I thought I you. Uh, I, I just thought you were looking at it right oh, now. I'm trying to find it. Here's Twitter like a 50 minute or the chat. Uh, it's in the tr it's in the thread somewhere. Scroll right. quick, Matt. Go ahead. No, I don't think right. it's in this one. This is like a 50 minute video. Oh, okay. forget it. You can look it up. Um, I can imagine it. You could just play that clip and hit mute. You know, I forgot. <laughs> I was I was going to start the show with a, a remembrance and honoring of the great David Crosby. How about the great David Crosby? The Cros. Huh? Fan? Oh, yeah. I mean, come on. I love there's a, a line in uh, Bob Dylan's Chronicles where he's like accepting the. Uh, he's, oh, yeah, he goes to Locust, some, right? Yeah, he goes to a college and they give him an honorary degree. <laughs> and uh, Princeton. He brings a Crosby with him and they get back into the car after the ceremony and David Crosby just goes, Bunch of dickheads on auto stroke. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's also a reference in Dylan's song Day of the Locust, which is on New Morning, where um, he's talking about that whole experience. And basically, I guess the story was they wanted they were going to give him this honorary degree, but they wanted him to, to wear the gown, you know, <laughs> like the, the professor's gown yeah. thing. And he didn't want to do it, and he was all upset. And, and apparently Cross was like, dude, just do it. You know, just it's fine. No one cares. And uh, in the song, uh, Dylan references, guy standing next to me, his brain was almost blowing like he was mad yeah, at me yeah. or something. And Croz is always proud that he's name-checked in a <laughs> song. But I love Croz. I've talked about him before. He, um, I loved, I mean, you, I mean, uh, it was the first two Crosby, Stills, and Nash, well, the Crosby, Stills, and Nash record, uh, which I listened to the other day, is... A perf it's a perfect record. There's no bad. There's no bad songs on it. Is it is marvelous. I love his first solo record. Too. And his first solo record is great. It's a little daddy for me. There's it's a little moment. daddy. Yeah. It's a little bit goes off the rails to me. But Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young, Deja Vu, perfect album. These, these are two perfect albums. Okay, take any song off off either of those albums. I would listen to them every day. I also like that he just kind of kept the same style. Like, he just looked the same yeah. until the end. He got big when he went to jail. Like, he got big. He looks good then, too. Oh, yeah. I like man. it. I like the big one. I was watching this interview with him from, like, I think he would, it was 84, 83. It was after he got sentenced, but before he started serving. And um, he's being very evasive about drugs and what he, you know, he's like, they were like, did you... So did you ha were you freebasing when the cops came to your house? <laughs> He's like, I, 
I don't know. I didn't. I, you know, that's if that's what they say. I, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I just. <laughs> But then later in life, I mean, and so I, I always loved Cros. Uh, but then later, uh, more recently, past ten years or so, he be, he he jumped onto Twitter and was so fu- fucking funny on Twitter. Twitter star. He was a Twitter yeah. star, and he he was so grumpy and very but very accessible, and you feel like you could you could get to him and just real, very honest, yeah. And Open. so I noticed that, and I think Vic too. And we oh, were yeah. back in the day when I was maybe a little more of a little. You know, eight years ago, little smart ass. Uh, you know, I would send him things. I would send him. What did I send him? A, uh, I sent him a, a dumb idea that uh, I said, "Oh, is it true that the name the birds was a typo and you guys just stuck with it?" You know, <laughs> <laughs> and he replied. He says, "No, it was on purpose." You know. <laughs> <laughs> And then Vic got in trouble with him. Oh, I got in multiple times. But, the, the, I but think you the, drew yeah. him out on the, uh, well, go yeah, ahead. Oh, yeah, the, the, the final straw was like, he, I was like, have you ever heard of the squirrels? <laughs> the band, the squirrels <laughs> from the 60s. And it was spelled with a Y. Is that true? Like, no, you just I gotta making hear that this. up? And then, and then I, I recorded like a fake song. It was like, <laughs> yeah. we're the squirrels. We were right. a band called the squirrels. With a Y. Block. Yeah. He blocked me for that. Oh, but, this, but then but this the, one yeah. got his attention. This one was good. Yeah, this was. Uh, did you ever did you ever work with Mike Love? He wrote. Yeah, but go ahead. Have not, would not, not a good person. <laughs> and then uh, I also had this funny idea that he didn't reply to, but it was that I was imagining a great uh, uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash cover, which would have been, the name of the album would be uh, Crosby's Stills of Nash. <laughs> and it would be a picture of David Crosby with a camera, and I guess Nash would be posing, and then Stills would be watching, I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty funny. He's still not involved at all. Stills, <laughs> Stills maybe is the camera. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's dressed as a camera. Uh, and then uh, then I also did this. We could play a second of this. This was kind of the dickiest thing I did, which was – this has a happy ending, by the way. Yes. So I was like one bored down here in the studio playing music, and I was like – maybe like I, lo- I love, 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 love. If, if there's a song of his – that always kind of was a little silly to me was cut my hair. Cut my hair is just kind of a little too on the nose with like this hippie stuff, you know, it was like the a little band too. of pavement yeah. covered. This yeah. Time. No. <laughs> oh. uh, must have been the flu. Right. So I did this slip shot, a terrible deranged cover of, of cut my hair. Play a little bit of this, Matt. Hey, Mr. Crosby, I just wanted to share with you this, my um, cover of one of my favorite songs of yours, Almost Cut My Hair. Okay. Almost cut my hair. (laughs) (laughs) It happened just the other day. What's that called, Yarl? My freak flag. So he wrote back to that. Um, thank you. He wrote back to that, yuck. <laughs> <laughs> he listened to yeah. it. Yeah, they, Rightly they, so. <laughs> and then, of course, the other funny thing was he would uh, come out against the doors all the time if you asked him about the doors. <laughs> and I just loved the idea that he was like, you know, maybe only a year or two ahead of them in the scene, in the rock world scene. But he smelled that from a mile away being a bunch of bullshit, which, you know. All right, thank you. Can we turn that off? Where's that, <laughs> why is that still playing? He was, someone said, what do you think about Ray Manzarek? And he said, seems kind of like a talent-free zone to me. <laughs> I was like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, <laughs> but he was, spoke his mind. And then, so cut to last year, and I've spoken about this, but cut to last year, a friend of mine, or actually, it wasn't really, a f- I, I knew her on uh, line because she was in his band. And uh, I, she was, seemed to, I, think, I guess she was a fan of mine, Becca Stevens, who later sang with me a little bit in New York. Um, she was in the studio with Cross at the old Sunset Sound, 
and uh, said, hey, do you want to come by and meet the man? You know, we're going to be here all night. So I did. I went down there and I kissed the ring. I said, Mr. Crosby, you know, it's an honor. and we ended up hanging out. We hung out, all, you know, for a few hours and then he went back to work. But we had some great, he, you know, he told some great stories. It's very interesting, very engaged. We talked about COVID and politics and music and all sorts of stuff. It was really wonderful. You didn't bring up the cover song, though. I didn't. And I didn't, I didn't, I, I hope that he didn't connect me to that person online that was yeah. sending him all that stuff. I don't, he, think, he had I, I don't think he cared. Um, and he would have gotten it if, I mean, he would, I'm sure he got it like by him saying yuck kind of, yeah, I think is playing yeah. into the, yeah. this experience. Anything else on cross you want to bring I up? Think, Matt, I Vic? can't remember. This is the yeah. classic doors one. In a while. Oh, what is it? The, the full assessment that basically yeah. sucked. <laughs> basically sucked. <laughs> Guitar and drums were pretty okay. Keyboard was awful. His bass with left hand was abysmal, horrible, square wheel bad. And Morrison was no effing good as a singer or a poet. Poser. Sorry. Oh, oh, fucking, Jesus. It's fucking real. Yeah. You know? Well, uh, now that Cross B's gone, Cross C will step in. <laughs> <laughs> Cross C. I always thought it was interesting that he was the father for uh, Melissa oh, Etheridge's. Because, oh, yeah. I mean... Oh, yeah. It's interesting. I mean, the guy clearly had genetic uh in is issues if you just look at like dr i mean just like having an issue with drugs alone mm. if sometimes you're you know addiction uh, addiction is like a genetic predisposition she and, wanted that that voice of gold she's all she yeah. cared about with the pipes right up here she's like one of those pipes to transfer <laughs> and i will say as far as this is getting real music nerdy thing but as far as middle harmony singers go you know, you think about George Harrison finding that middle part in all those three-part harmonies. Very hard thing to do. Cross was the king. Cross is the king. You listen to those Crosby, Stills, and Nash harmonies. You hear Graham Nash. He's coming in clear. But then you just, in the middle there is Cross finding it's gluing that, it all together. That takes us uh, to my activity of the day. Oh, yes. In honor of Cross. Well, actually, can I do oh, one oh, more yeah, thing oh, on yeah, this? Yeah, sure. And yeah. I don't have it with me, but I was, th th of course, there was acrimony between the four of those guys. Great acrimony towards the end. Young. Young didn't get along with anyone, right? Did no, he? Young gets along with all of them except Crosby. Except and they've Crosby. all, they all pushed Crosby yeah, out of the scene yeah, yeah. for various reasons. But I thought, it would, can we bring up Neil Young's statement on his death? Oh, jeez. Oh, it's quite, it's very, it's appropriate. It's, it's very nice. I don't know what that is. But um, <laughs> I'm finding that mid range harmony. Oh. There it is. There oh, it is. Yeah. Gluing um, it all together. I think it's very interesting when you read this statement what's said and unsaid. And I'll point out what I feel is oh, interesting. No. Uh, <laughs> If you have, sorry, I'm springing this on poor Captain Carla. It's, it's, uh, Neil's analog website. I know it's, 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 so, it's so obnoxious. Matt, can you read it? Because it's too far away for me to read. Um, All right, and I'll stop when I find that there's something interesting here. David is gone, but his music lives on. The soul of CSNY, David's voice and energy were at the heart of our band. His great songs stood for what we believed in, and it was always fun and exciting when we got to play together. Almost Cut My Hair, Deja Vu, and so many other great songs he wrote were wonderful to jam on, and Stills and I had a blast as he kept us going on and on. His singing with Graham was so memorable, their duo spot a highlight of so many of our shows. Okay, here we go. We had so many great times, especially in the early years. Especially in the early years. <laughs> Crosby was a very supportive <laughs> friend in my early life. In my early oh my life. <laughs> As Crosby we... was a very supportive friend in my early life. <laughs> he is Neil Young, T. <laughs> As we bit off big pieces of our experience together, David was the catalyst of many things. My heart goes out to Jan and Django, his wife and son. Lots of love to you. Thanks, David, for your spirit and songs. Love you, man. I remember the best times. I remember the best times. Only the best times. Only the best times. Forgot so, to capitalize his end, though. His I like all that talk about the old days, but past 20 years, not so great. Pure right. shit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, was Cross right, Vic, in what's, Buffalo Springfield too? What's that? Was Cross in Buffalo Springfield? No, that was Young and Stills. Yeah. Ah. Well, I just wanted to like, like harmonize a little bit. There's that activity today. We're just everyone here is gonna hit a note, and we're gonna just try to do this. Oh, okay. Let's just uh, let's do like a. Uh, that was a G. Oh, that's. A G. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know how to work this thing. Oh my God. There it is. Uh, 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 
Uh, Sorry, do you have the rules here? Let's see. Who wants what, to nope, do that? I hit? Let's try that one. The G. Uh, uh, Matt, can you do a third? Uh, uh, Matt no. can't. Let me do no, the just, third. <clears throat> all right, do this third. Uh, you do the root. You do the root. Uh, uh, Beach oh. Boys, the Beach Boys, we ain't. R.I.P. Cross. <laughs> yes. That locked in pretty good. Nice. Nice. Let's take yeah, a, do really we have a hotliner? Nice. Do we have a hotliner? Do we? Yeah, we, we of course about we do. Of course we do. Uh, let's talk to your... Three, four, seven. Three, four, seven. Three, four, seven. What's Three, four, seven. Is that New York? You're live on I the air. I can sing that whole album front to back. Like acapella. It's beautiful. Let's hear it. When Let's do it. Let's hear it. green eyes like yours, lady like yours. <laughs> <laughs> Put in ships on the water. Very free and easy. He's really fucking good. <laughs> He's really pretty fucking good. Yeah. Carry all of it. Three, four, seven. What do you got? <laughs> yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Yo. What's up, yo, Turkey? Yo. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm, you know, I'll just, uh, you know, Crosby, Crosby death. What about, uh, what about Jeff Beck? Uh, <gasps> talk I, about respecting the early years. I know. Well, his latest I, is. I, I just great. I didn't I never connected with Jeff Beck. That's just the honest truth. I don't. I, I, a little too prog. A little too prog for you. He what? wasn't prog. He was fusion. A little too pure proggy, fusy. Uh, never connected. I, I don't even care that much for the ad beds. I hate to say. I just work stuff. was great with the uh, Hollywood vampires. Yeah, that was like what a big, big end. He's always hanging out Johnny Depp. <laughs> yeah. All due respect, people seem to love the guy. Oh, and, here's the awful. <laughs> <laughs> they look happy. I want to see the bracelets on those arms. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> look at his, look at Beck's uh, necklace. What is that going on there? But if you look at old uh, Jeff Beck interviews and then look at Nigel Tufnell from Spinal Tap, oh, it's yeah. it's like it's 100%. total <laughs> doppelganger situation. Don't even look at it. No, don't even look don't even at, point it. at it. Check out Johnny though. Yikes! Johnny boy. Mm. Good turn. Yeah, I don't know. I just uh, oh Jesus! I never really dug what Hanging Jeff Beck put down. Johnny Depp. Blow by Blow is a great Yikes. album. I stand by that. What about you? He's Beck's dad, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. He's got nothing to do with Beck. Some of those Yardbird songs are <laughs> Yeah, those are great. I don't know what, what uh, on, which albums he's great. on. They had so There's many like, rotating yeah, Jimmy guitars, Page right? and all those guys, yeah. yeah. Tell Slapped you what record in. I listened to the other anyway, day. Anyway, just ah. wanted to bring it up. You know, all the love and respect. All love and, and respect. Tim, you know, I've, I've been following up. I've been loving you since uh, you just had a lowly website. I would share shit like humpers and be like, oh, my yeah? friends would be weirded out by you go. Hey, let me ask you a question. Like, this is, I always forget to kind of ask this, but like, if you go back that far, do you remember how yeah. it, we came onto your radar? Like, what was the thing that we're like, like, how did we I even. I have no pre- fucking clue, man. It was like early, you know, 2000s. MySpace? I, I was a big, I, I'm still, a, you know, I'm still a web designer so maybe that's i'm just like in the inner yeah. circle of you're just going to random websites just like that, i remember having a long night of yeah. my friends early on like trying to find your videos and everything like oh, before really? yeah before youtube and everything yeah yeah and we yeah. got was, to um, get ourselves back to the god <laughs> nice. we always had it there by the time we got to one stop all right love you guys oh, i gotta take a shower and, uh, get all right man here. Whoa, TMI, dude. Go TMI. Good luck in the shower, buddy. Get cleaned up, baby. Gotta wash up. <laughs> Later. Yeah. It's nice. I like that guy's energy. He's great. He's nice. Call back next week. I love on, it. Man. I love it. Come on, man. Boy, I got Dorf on golf debate stuck oh here on God. these notes. I don't think do we're we ever getting to it. I don't think we're ever going to get to it. Remember Dorf on golf? I don't know what that is. It uh, sounds familiar. You're lucky. Maybe. Okay. Forget it. This will be the ultimate tease. We'll yeah. always talk about it and never do it. <laughs> never get to it. <laughs> Make it instead of the next uh, Joel hole. Just oh yeah, door, just do a full hour on. <laughs> we still have to finish still your have Joel to do hole. That. How old are you? Do you mind? I, I just turned forty. Oh, happy fortieth! Thanks. Holy, mo- I saw you. Were, I saw a little birthday post. You're at a birthday party. Oh, Kevin yeah. Morby. Morbs was there. 
Jenny Lewis. Kevin Morby, this is a call out, public call out to you, Kevin. Uh oh. Get. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin, <laughs> you wrote me a text saying you're going to be in LA. He's here right now. He's here. And I said, let's get together, and then nothing. Of course, I didn't follow Ghosted up either. Ghosted by the morbs. Huh? Ghosted by the morbs. No, it's not, I mean, I did, I gotta, he, we got to play tennis. We got to get his instructor's oh, yeah. name. That's what we got to do. We got to have him just uh, come in right now. Kevin, if, I know he's yeah, watching. He's... Kevin, come on in. You know where the address. You've been here before. Don't even knock. You make a good point. <laughs> Why not? Get off your ass. Get in here, Kevin. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Um, He's in Pasadena somewhere. Is he? Yeah, well, then he, he can get it. here in 15 uh, minutes. He loves Why? it over there. Kevin, get the hell in here. <laughs> What's he doing here? Making music? He's just hanging out. Just getting out. out of the cold. Yeah. He's just, uh, you know, on vacation from Kansas. Yeah. Correct. How nice. What a life. <laughs> <laughs> No, I love you, Kevin. I don't care. I'll, we'll get together whether you want to or not. We played tennis with him one time, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, like one more Zoomer, and then we'll uh, we'll have King Tuff take over, and the Office Hours All Stars will sit in as well. Ooh. Yes. One more. Yeah. So where'd my um? It's been a we've. Oh wait, he disappeared. All my um. Let's get another Ooh. um hotliner. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Whatever you want, Doug. I'm here to support you. Stinks. 209, Chris <laughs> Carey, I believe. You're on the line. Chris. Hey there. Hey there. How you guys doing? Yeah, doing all right. What can I do for you? Where are you hey, calling I, from? I, I got a quick okay. deadhead joke for you guys. You got a what? I got a quick deadhead joke for you guys. All right. Okay. What do the deadheads say after the acid wore off? This what? music fucking sucks, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Oh. <laughs> That's not nice. That's just my take on it. It's sad but true. David Crosby loved The Grateful Dead and he loved uh, Steely Dan. He, he went nuts for Steely Dan. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, he loved it. The other day, somebody left a comment on a picture I posted that said, you look like the guitarist of the Grateful Dead. <laughs> I'm like, that's just weird. <laughs> Which, well, obviously, obviously he's talking Jerry, about Jerry. But it's like just seven. weird that he wouldn't know the name of I it. I know. <laughs> that's just kind of weird. Maybe he thought you didn't know who the Grateful Dead were. You, know? you didn't know who Jerry was. I love Jerry. Baby. Come alive. Yeah. I, he would be my favorite member of the Grateful Dead. He's a big teddy bear. Yeah. He's kind of grumpy, but that's why he loved him. Always felt like he had one foot out of that band. You sort of seeing like, yeah. I wish I had better players. I'm a dick. I wish I had a better drummer. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't fire the I first would, one, so we yeah, got the second I one. I wish I had only had one. <laughs> that's how that happened. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah, they just turned his maybe, volume down. Maybe if we get two drummers, it'll sound better. <laughs> <laughs> nope. George <laughs> Martin's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? I don't know. All right, well, shall we do this? Shall we um, talk? Is this a new song off your new album? This is a song Tim, from my new album. Can man. I plug something real quick? Oh, yeah. God, I forgot. You're first, right. Let uh, me just, let me slow down a sec. This show's been on fire. Am I wow. right, folks? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. For Absolute this fire. Absolute fire. <laughs> Boom! Give me some punch sounds. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Uh, I got it. <laughs> let me just make a few, because we are almost at an hour. Well, a couple things. Of course, my uh, UK Euro tour is coming up so soon. We're nice. going to hitting uh, the road uh, in March, mid-March. All the beautiful towns in England. Playing every town in England. Every single. Are <laughs> yeah. you playing li Liverpool? Uh, no. <laughs> ask, ask again. Doug will answer for you. What? Uh, I look up where I'm playing. You ever uh, go to a Wait, tea, I... tea bay? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ask me another question. No. <laughs> no fucking way, no fucking way. You March 16th right. at Leeds. Those tickets are basically gone. March 17th, Manchester. 19th, Birmingham. Tell me if you if you agree with any of these spots. 
Newcastle, Sheffield, Brighton, wow. London, wow. No. Bristol, no. Nottingham. No. Nice. Uh, then we're hitting Glasgow, yeah. uh, Dublin. Dublin. Playing a big spot in Dublin. Got a lot of tickets sold, but we could sell some more if you know I'm what I'm saying. Yeah. Fucking big furious, spot. And I don't fucking care anymore. Oslo, Stockholm, Copenhagen, yeah. Yeah. Amsterdam. Nice. That's the two Tim's tour. Uh, stand up, no more bullshit. I worked out some new material the other night. It's a great acclaim, great, great success. Some, some uh, beautiful location-specific material. Are you gonna be, do are you gonna be doing like all the same material from last time, or is there? No, no, no. There's some bits that have okay. phased themselves no. out. I can tell you more about that okay. after the break. Okay. Um, <laughs> King Tough. Let's let's let Doug. I just well, want to I know, say when to you're Doug, go, you know, when you're going yeah, to Doug's Glasgow, yeah. when you're on your way to Glasgow, there's an amazing kind of rest area mm. called T Bay. Oh, T Bay! It is unbelievable. They have everything you could ever want. Okay, it's I'm putting the it best in the rest itinerary. area in the world. Get out! Is it in the Scotland side or yeah, the, okay. it's up there? T Bay. Let's let's shout out T Bay. T Bay <laughs> fucking rocks. Um. And then now, we drum roll, please. We have a big announcement from Doug coming. Uh, me and Brent Weinbach are... Where the hell was the drum roll? They're oh, putting together gotta, a new... You gotta push this. Get up here. No, no, I'm, I'm, get up here. From huh? the center. Center stage. What's that gonna be? Unplug this. There you go. Okay, complicated. Because I want to make sure you understand this. I, I don't have a mic. Oh, yeah, he has no mic over there. Here, hold on. <laughs> Me and Brent Weinbach are doing <laughs> season four of Pound House, and we have an Indiegogo. Hey, yo. And uh, just uh, if you want to help us make it, just go to Indiegogo and uh, chip in a little bit. Well, where do you go? I You got to go to, you can go to my Twitter. It's a it's yeah. pinned, pinned tweet, tweet at the top. At the it's going to be in the description. Or you just go to Indiegogo and search Pound House for it. Quiet now. <laughs> Sorry, did I get your ring? <laughs> I'm telling That's them it. to be quiet. Thank you, T. Pound House Season 3, make it happen. How far, what, what are we at now? Link that, below. The, what are we at with the money f funds being it's, raised? It's we're the, halfway. The we're about six been oh, this is more than halfway. Three days in, and we are, we're almost there. Oh, so. it's happening, folks. I can't wait. I'm going to be in it if you have a part for Absolutely. me. I'm happy to do it. All right. All right, we're going to uh, join us at patreon.com slash office hours live to watch the rest of the show. Unless you're watching live, you get this free. And now here's a new song. What's the name of the song? It's called Portrait of God. Portrait of God, uh, starring Tim Heidecker on the piano <laughs> and, and everybody else. tried to imagine the shape of God Are they a butterfly or a big amorphous star Do you believe in a higher power that cannot be explained The spiral in the sunflower The sadness of the rain church on Sunday I'd rather spend my time worshiping in my own way walking in the woods wading in the river breathing in the mountain air Ooh, and I feel that pain pushing my fingers I know that you'll be there in my garage Let my colors flow I'll be working on my portrait I'll be working on my portrait I'll be working on my portrait of God And I'm on my way to heaven When I look at 
at you You got a secret weapon A perfect shade of bloom And I'm on my way to heaven When I look at you You got a secret weapon A perfect shade of blue portrait of God Yeah, when I'm alone Life is nothing but a mirage Let my colors flow I'll be working on my portrait I'll be working on my portrait I'll be working on my portrait Oh, fuck yeah, buddy. All right, fuck we'll yeah. Right Five man warning, we'll be right back. Just one accent, uh, it's too late. Hands in the giant and the bush. 